Okay, so today I have a really, really busy day. Good morning, everybody. So right now, since Giovanni does online, I have to take him to go do his testing at the school. So I'm gonna be taking him to go do his testing. But before that, we have to go to the library and pick out a library book. And I'm going to run some errands in the meantime while Giovanni is testing. It's like three hours, huh? Mm -hmm. Three hours the testing is the testing is so we're gonna have a very productive day today and I thought it'd be really fun to start the vlog back with this video and yeah I was going to do videos like I was gonna post like things that we already have done and maybe I'll throw that in like here and there but I wanted to start off fresh with this SD card where it's just vlogging for today because I overthink stuff and I overwhelm myself. But anyways, we're on our way right now to get our day started. <laughs> not right now, I'm at the library. I was reading this one. We're gonna see if we can get something else. Is there any good one? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. That's a good one. There's more over here. Whatever you want. It's endless. Well, you're studying. I'm gonna hopefully finish. I've got like this much left. Mira. Because making I was gonna oh, say, that, dude, I was gonna throw it away. Really? I yeah, I didn't think that was good. I was like, what the fuck is in there? Oh no, I mm. have to do, like uh, get the flavor. Right. I'm gonna do a little quick little haul. So I saw this at TJ Maxx and it was $7.99. I went to Ross and found it for $4.99. Look how big this is. I wanted one so like when we're doing recipes, we feel cool. Then I seen this, so freaking cute, $2.99 for these ones. And I was like, oh my God, it'll be so cute because Miha bakes them again, so I thought it'd be really cute. And then I found this one. This is the only nice one that I found that didn't feel rough or anything. The other ones felt rough, you guys, but this one didn't and it's just really nice. I'm gonna make flan. And this one was $4.49. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Just. Butter. Oh, I was so excited. I was like, you know what? Let's make flan right now. So we're gonna go in with some sugar and you put it on the pan. Make sure that you don't stir it. <laughs> I'm stirring it, but you're supposed to just let it sit there. But I can't, you guys. I'm like, no, I have to move it around because I feel like my luck, it will burn. So I'm just seriously just stirring it as often as I can. And this is how it came out. And then I put it in the new pan you have to work fast. You're thinking like, hey, I'm gonna have time to like, no, you're not. You're not gonna have time for nada. And don't put your finger in this and taste this because you're like, ooh, I bet you it tastes so good. No, you're gonna burn your tongue. So I'm just getting the rest of it. You see how it's already hardening? Like it happened with so freaking, with the quickness, so freaking quick. So I am just trying to move it around the pan so that it's like evenly coated and it's not all in one area. So then we're gonna go in with a, cans, uh, a can of sweet, dense, Condensed milk. Oh my gosh, I forgot to talk. I'm gonna put that in your blender, scoop it out as much as you can. Then I'm gonna go in with some evaporated milk, add that in there. Then we're gonna go in with some vanilla, two tablespoons, some heavy whipping cream. We've got two cups right here. You're going to pour it in. Then we're gonna go in with the eggs. You guys hear that crack? <laughs> then we are going to blend it. Then I'm going to strain it because there's some clumps still in there and we don't want that in there. We don't want to be the one to get a clump. So strain it. Then we're going to pour it into the pan. Oh, you all hear that crack? Sorry, I wanted you guys to hear it. I'm making noise. I think we're going to have to make two. We okay. cut it? No, because it has egg in it. Okay. My nana, I said it's so mean. Okay, so I baked at 350 for one hour and this is how it came out. We did like the jiggle test. I had to make two because the recipe was pretty big. And I let it chill overnight and this is the next day. Okay, now it's Oh, hold on, I wanna see. Okay, do it again, do it again, do it again. Do what? it, do it. it Hit was, it? No, it was already coming no, out. No, you looked Are you sure? It broke in half that way, it's your fault. It's okay, it's okay. What? Or no? Oh, yes. Look how nice that looks, you guys. It tastes good? Mm -hmm. Oh, that one just flopped out beautifully. I hope I caught. Oh, there you are. Mama. So here's this one. 
cut it into slices and served it to the babies. This one was my favorite. I really liked how this one came out. So we have this one. This one's more a little bit smoky. I left this one a little bit longer. Babe prefers it to be cooked a little bit longer. This one was cooked 10, 10 minutes longer versus this one cooked only an hour. So this one was an hour and that one was 110. You can definitely tell the difference in like how the caramel, like this one's a little bit darker, this one's a little bit lighter, yeah, but they are definitely good. both good. Yeah, it's Mother's Day, look at my baby's got me. Look how pretty this is. Oh, I love views like this. Mom, I'm oh, house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on, stay right there. I'm gonna take a picture of you guys. If I could give myself any advice is get in the pictures with the babies. Hold up the camera and get in the pictures with the babies. Yeah. Hey, can I even get the menu? Hey, you can't even read yet. You're not even kindergarten. Say, boy. <laughs> Don't be rude. I just got you in camera. I love it looks good. Do you like this? they have crabs. Yeah. Just acknowledge her then. We know you make their tacos with cheese, Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this was for Mother's Day. The babies took me out. I wish the food tasted as good as it looked. You guys know I'm a foodie, so I had to take like lots of video camera and stuff because I wanted to show you guys. But I was thinking of recreating everything that we ate, especially this like tower of shrimp because it looks pretty cool. So if you have any recipes, send them to me, please. I don't think you can really see it. I put her in the hole and she's like, hit her head and jump right up. <laughs> From my doggy. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut up the flowers that my babies gave me. They are so freaking beautiful, you guys. Right. All done. Mama, you're gonna ruin it. It is cute. And voila! So beautiful. And I love that we have the dining table so that when we're eating or when we're walking in and out of the house, you get to see the beautiful arrangement. They are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, what the heck did you have this? You got it sent to me? Y'all love cleaning videos. So the pantry is one of the things I hate the most because it gets the dirtiest because everyone just loves to shove everything in there and it gets so cluttered so fast. Look how dirty the microwave is. Oh my God. Anyways, so I took everything out and I'm like, you know what? We are going through every single thing. When I say we, I mean me. So I took everything out and I'm going to organize it to make it more eye appealing, pleasing to look at all of it because it is seriously so cluttered. It took me two days because your girl burnt out. Like I really, really did. So vacuumed everything, scrubbed. There's one percent scrubbing. Okay, y'all heard it. So now I'm just going back in. I always say go back in. It's not a makeup tutorial, Jade. Come on now. And I reorganized it this way. It still looks very cluttered to me, but it's a lot better than what it originally looked like. So I'm okay with it. And yeah, so again, if y'all have any tips or tricks on what I can do to take advantage of the size of the pantry that we have, please let me know. Tag me, at me, all of it, please. Giovanni's birthday. Birthday boy. And got a nice haircut yesterday. And the lights turn on. Well, you surprise. Yeah? Yeah. It looks nice. <laughs> Loud. One, two. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> surprise, baby. Come here. Ready? We're going to sing happy birthday to you, Pa. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Johnny. Happy birthday to you. 
mama. Finally getting around to showing you guys how I make the birria tacos. Well, technically it's just beef tacos because birria is lamb. Anyways, so I go in with the chuck roast and you let this cook in your slow cooker for six hours. Oh yeah, I hear that crunch. Then, before you let it boil and cook, you're going to add an onion, two garlics, put it in there. They're gonna go in with some seasoning, gonna go in with some chicken bouillon. Add that in there, I know you're thinking, oh, but let's, it's beef, I know. But you're gonna let it cook for seven hours. Do what you gotta do. Check the meat and it should look like this. It should look like it is just starting to come apart like nothing. It's gonna be very tempting to eat it all because I have done this before where it's like, okay, we'll just eat it like this. I don't wanna do the rest. But trust me, it will be worth it. So it has to come apart like this. It's just shredding, just shredding. The easiest thing. If you feel like, oh, I don't know what to cook, put something into the slow cooker, boom, done. Now we're gonna go with the chili pods. I go in with six and six. You're going to remove the seeds and then add it to a pot, bring it to a boil, cover it with the lid and let it steam for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna go with some chicken bouillon, add that into our blender, going in with six garlic cloves, I know, six of them, some oregano, add two tablespoons, oh my gosh, cinnamon, then you're gonna add the chili pods, add what you boiled, the boiled water, put that in there, and then you're gonna add a cup of the broth from the chuck roast, then blend it. So you're gonna blend it, then you're gonna grab a cup of the broth, you're going to add it into a pan. Well, I did a cup, I only showed you guys like half of it. Okay, but anyways, do a cup. Then you're gonna go in <laughs> and you're going to shred the chuck roast. Look how freaking, ah, uh, uh, I'm such a foodie. Anyways, you're going to add all of the beef in there, okay? Go in with the strainer and you're going to strain because my blender does not like blend it all. It has like some leftover of the chili pods and we don't want that. So take your time with a spoon and just straining it. You don't have to, but it's going to taste better, you guys, and no one wants to have like a freaking leaf on their teeth, okay? So then it's gonna look like this. You can let it steam a little bit for like 15, 30 minutes. It's worth it, I know. It's like, this is like, you have to take time when you're making this dish. Now I'm gonna go and grab the oil put it into a separate bowl, and you see this oil on top? This is what we're gonna use to cook the tortillas and give it that red pigment to the tortilla. And it tastes so freaking good. So I'm gonna spray down my cooking, what is it called? I don't know what it's called, you guys. I'm like brain fart. Anyways, so dip the tortilla in there. Then I go in with mozzarella cheese. It is so good, try it this way, like this. And then you can even go in with the broth and add it on top. It's so freaking good. So I let it get really crunchy like this so that when you bite into it, there's like that really, really nice crunch. Dip it into the consomme, which is the broth, and boom, done. So delicious. Again, if you're making this, you're going to just plan time, okay? Delicious. So one of my favorite things to make. It's so freaking good. I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to send my cuñada. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyways. She's preggers and I wanted to send her and my god baby and the other babies as well some stuff because you can't just get one one thing for one baby and get it for all the babies. So she's gonna have four babies. So I got her this cute cozy blanket. Socks for the kids. We got them some cute shorts, Mina, so they can match some shirts. I got them this cute pair too. I don't want to tell her like this outfit's for this one, this one, but for that one, I want her to, to pick or have them pick just in case. Cute shirt. So she has three boys and she is getting a girl. So got some cute Nike shirts. And then this stuff is for the newbie. Oh my goodness. So we got her some Dr. Brown bottles. Look how cute these are want to go and kidnap my niece and play dress up with her <laughs> i feel like jade grew so quick y'all like so quick it was fun shopping for the baby got her some cute nike socks mira how freaking cute got her this cute little bib and socks 
so she can match with her siblings. Vanessa, if you're watching this, I want photos all day, every day. We got this cute Kevin Klein. This one for when she gets bigger because babies grow so quick. So, que bonita, huh? And then this one right here, which this right here, the ruffles, so adorable. Life is sweeter with you. Smile. Got her another Nike one. Just a cute teether. Look how bougie and cute these look. Look at that. I don't even have a baby and I want it <laughs> just because it looks so cute. And then we got her some headbands. So I'm going to finish. I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, and then we have this too that we're going to be sending her. So I'm just going to package it up. She's going to think it's diapers and it's not. It's going to be all this stuff. So I wanted to show you guys because I just thought it was so freaking cute. I love shopping for others. Love language, gifting for sure. So since there's still some room in there, I told her FaceTime me before you open because she's nice. Yeah. Anyways, there's still some room in there. So I'm going to package some makeup for her and her mama. And I have a fan fam giveaway. Let's get ready. So let's do fan bam's makeup first. This is super cute. We'll do this one. We would do Take Me to Brazil. Lashes. We'll do these ones. I have to put it in another bag because this one is going international. Like, I got it to the top. It's always like so crazy every time we pass this area right here because I always remember like 10 year old Lex always like wanting to stay out here like forever and like i love the house and it's just so crazy because we like live up the street and stuff and never did i think i was going to be 28 with my husband in the car and we were going to be passing over this area so every time we're by this area it like always trips me out because i'm like damn time flies and when you're a kid you never think like oh my god in this many years i'm going to be in the car with my husband and the trains gonna be passing by you know? Yeah, that's a weird thing to think about. Mm. Mm -hmm.